I would like to welcome everybody to the show. This is Darrell Willis, and a class is now in session. This is another uh, class where we are speaking in terms of what really can we get out of our ability to be the people that we really want to become. And so today's topic is a new year, a new me. Uh, and if you really are one of those people that sets New Year's resolutions every year, but we get to about the second and third week in the New Year's and we send, seem to kind of fall off, we're going to change that this year. We're going to make sure that we're setting a resolution before the new year, and we're actually going to act on that resolution before the year even comes. Because the new year's resolution isn't necessarily just about being the new you in 2017. It's about forming that mentality, forming that 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 mindset, forming into the person that you are really want to become before you even take that leap into a new year. And so what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you about five dis- different actionable steps that you can take uh, today, a part of today's show. And what you can get out of it is some really tangible things that you can believe within yourself, that you can believe are uh, are things that can really harness uh, your potential and harness the things that you are really structuring in your life. So number one, number one is we're going to start now. Today is going to be the day, or if not today, then tomorrow. If you're listening to this late at night or if you're listening to this early in the morning, believe that when you listen to this, this will be an opportunity for you to go into that mode to where it's, I'm accepting that I want to change, but I'm also accepting that I need to change now. If I say that I'm going to do it tomorrow, if I say that I'm going to do it next week, or if I say I'm only going to do it one to two days, then we don't really have that all-in mentality. Therefore, we're we're forcing ourselves to be less of who we really want to become and more of and more of the person that we are continuing to be. So, I believe that you can only be successful if you choose to be more like that person that you really want to become uh, and less like the person that you already are. Because if you don't do what you need to do today for the things that you want tomorrow, you'll never get there. And I really want you to get there because part of my purpose in life is to make people smile, but also get people to believe in themselves much more. It took me a while to believe in myself. And there's something that I have within my office and I kind of took down, but I want to make sure that I put back up is be your own kind of beautiful. See, beauty is within you. Genius is within you. Potential is within you. Uh, Strength is within you. You have all of it in you. But the one thing that keeps you from really... Uh, uh, really focusing on where it is and and getting it to kind of come out and opening that box of where all these abilities lie is the fact that you've been hurt before or the fact that you have had somebody throw you out of the of the mind frame of the mindset of really attaining your goal, criticizing something that you've done before, a failure that's happened before, failing a a class or a course or doing something that you know was happy and fulfilling to you, but there was either someone or something out of that that pushed you away from it because it wasn't something that you liked. And so today we really need to understand that one, we're going to start today and we're going to start now. But the number two thing that you're going to do to make sure that you are focusing on becoming the new you in the new year is to forgive yourself. Not only are you forgiving yourself, but you're forgiving the things that you've done. You're forgiving the people that have hurt you. You're forgiving all the wrongdoing Uh, within your life that is keeping you in that rut to believe that if I jump out on this edge and if I go out on a whim and I do the things that I really want to do, what's keeping me away from those things? And I would say that the things that have really uh, affected me have have been my past, have been the troubled relationships that I've had with not having a father around. Um, And when a stepfather came, you know, it wasn't for the, the, the duration of the time that I was in my youth, uh, it was only for a short period of time. And so I never really had that male role model. So sometimes I believe that I'm not pushing the envelope of being a successful male role model because I didn't have one consistently at home. Uh, it was either my older brother who had to assume the role of being uh, a fatherly figure to me 
uh, or it was the other men outside of my home. And so I had to forgive my situation. I had to forgive myself for believing that I had to be a perfect man. Uh, and when that came about, it allowed me to kind of focus more on being true to who I am and being a happy person, being positive and really spreading this positivity to others. It's important that you give yourself the ability to not be perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's even close. Even the celebrities, even the people that you see on TV in the limelight, they are not perfect. There's something in them that's flawed and there's something that they may deal with on a consistent basis. But one of the things that they deal with on the consistent basis isn't keeping them from being the person that they are. It's only something that they may deal with on a monthly basis or on a sometimes basis. But they found a way to cope with it and understand that they still have to be the person that they need to be in order for them to be at a certain level. Um, And so... Truly deep, dig down. And, and one thing that I did is I found 10 things that I felt uh, kept me from really being happy in my youth, uh, kept me from being happy in my teen years, kept me from being happy in my young adult to my adult years. And I realized that there was a pattern that I felt like I needed to have all the answers. And I did. I don't. I, I still don't have all the answers. Even me giving you this advice is just something that I've tried and it's worked for me. It does not mean that it's going to work for every person. It just means that it's going to work for it's going to work for me, and it may work for two or three different others, but it may not work for you. So, step one was we're going to start now, and we're going to focus on what can we do now to push us into the person that we really want to become. And the second thing is we're going to forgive our situations. We're going to forgive the people that have hurt us and we're going to forgive all the wrongdoing within our life. Step number three is we're going to set attainable goals. So the reason why attainable goals comes after you focus on doing it now and you're focusing on forgiving is because if those things are in the way, then setting those attainable goals will not be accomplished. You will not get to doing what you need to do at the at the bulk of attaining those those goals. So, say for instance, I want to be a, a professional wrestler. Well, I do need to understand that it takes steps to get to the professional level. So, what I need to do is I need to train my body first. Uh, I need to train my mind as well. I have to understand that this is a different type of sport. If I've never done it before, then I need to understand that there's things that I need to do differently in order to become that professional wrestler. Or if I want to be a pastor, being a pastor does not come from you just getting up and you saying, okay, this is the Bible and this is what is in the word. And then you preach the word. Now you can minister to people, but in order to become a pastor or a preacher or a uh, a reverend, you have to go through the steps of the calling, whether it is to go and get the education and to make, make sure that you are uh, in line with what pastors are doing with for the churches and for the congregation and so understand that there are steps that you have to put in place but you have to make sure that you're writing those steps down so go step by step step one step two step three step four and then when you be, when you become uh knowledgeable of those steps you then are able to actually knock those steps up steps off as if they are tasks on your list and the closer you get to the end of your task list the closer you get to actually attaining your your end goal um and so we understand that we have to start now uh, and we have to put it in our minds that we're going to start now our second thing is we're going to have to forgive our third thing is we're going to set attainable goals step number four is you have to be willing to take the risk Um, And so the risk really involved is the fact that you're not going to be perfect. You're not going to do everything the right way. You're not going to uh, you're not going to have all the answers. So if you are willing to focus more on being the person that you really want to become, 
then you know that there are greater risk involved because people who know you may say, that's not you, or I don't think that you can do this, or I, uh, or it may laugh at you, or may think that you're crazy, but what you find is when you become more and more like the person that you want to become, they will accept you, but it's not about them accepting you. It's about understanding that this is who you are, and if they are true to being a friend or family or a colleague or a coworker or what have you, they will support you because that is the type of relationship that you have in line with them. So we're going to start now with our, uh, with our new mentality, and then we're going to forgive after we forgive, we're going to set attainable goals. And then step four is we're going to take the risk. And then step five, one of the most important out of all five steps is you have to believe in yourself. See, one thing that has really helped me out over over the last couple of months, because it that's basically where my journey began at last couple of months in 2016, I would say preferably around the April month. Um, was that I needed that self, um, I needed to push myself. I needed to have that, that self motivating, that self, uh, that self drive. It needed to come from me. Now I, I did have other people that were around or I had people that were online. I was watching motivational videos. I was looking at inspirational things. I was reading inspirational books. But one thing that I realized is even though that those messages were there, I still needed to push myself into the realm of doing things. So when I realized that I wanted to be a motivational coach and I wanted to be a motivational speaker is I, I understood that there was something out there that I needed to speak uh, because it was something that that risk that I needed to take. I needed to believe that it was OK for me to do it. Because if I didn't believe in it, then I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing right now as far as taking the risk and talking and giving you the steps that you really need in order to perform or become the person that you really want to become. Because I believe in you and I believe in me and I believe that we all have something within us. We're very unique. We don't have the same names. We don't have the same looks. We don't have the same height. We don't have the same weight. We don't have the same mind. We don't think the same way. So there is something in you that can that you can craft that is important to others and others will follow you because you are giving them so much power by just showing that it's okay to be you and being you is so powerful because you control your steps with with the ability that that God gives us because he he allows us to be created right and then our parents give us the life to be born into this world we are given the opportunity to use every resource that we have as far as being taken care of, you know, tools and 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 things that um, we can write with or things that or we can use the resource of money or we can use the resource of a network of people or we can use the resource of a uh, 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 family to support us when we're actually jumping out and taking these risks. So once you believe in yourself, You'll understand that there's so much more to you than me, CI. So I want to go ahead and conclude class right now. Thank you for tuning in to another Classes in Session. This has been Darrell Willis. I'm your motivational coach, and I look forward to speaking to you sometime next week. All right.